Hi, my name is Joshua and in this video we're going to talk about how to implement Google Authentication in a Capacitor app. So for this I prepared a very simple app with a login screen and a button for us to register or log in with Google. We click on it, a browser window opens with the, log with the OAuth page, we select our account and we are rerouted to our app with certain information displayed on the setting page. So how do we arrive at this? The basis for this tutorial is one of the previous tutorials, tutorials in which we talked about how to implement Google authentication for Payload Backend. You need to watch that tutorial first and implement it like it is implemented in that tutorial because here we are only going to modify that implementation. And it is actually fairly easy to modify it because we only need to do one, one single thing, at least on the server side, which is to go to the server TS and modify the redirect. The redirect, redirect tells then the browser or after the, conf uh, after the authentication was successful, where to go next. And we don't just want it to open another browser window with the URL and the token, that would be useless. We want our, net, uh, we want our app to get notified. And for our app to get notified, we need to register our URL that or our URL schema then with Apple. So first of all, we're gonna define a URL schema, uh, in this case, my app, that our app then can get notified about. And here we simply construct a URL and also give it the token. And then more importantly, we need to go into the plist, into the plist file from our iOS project. You can also do this in Xcode and simply add the CF bundle URL types. In the CF bundle URL types, you then add an array with an item that contains a CF bundle URL schemes and that points to my app. So this is already set up that we need to change. Now we're gonna come to the capacitor specific stuff. If you want to log in now, we need to call our server backend. So we're gonna go on the login page, prepare something very simple here. We have a button, this one, it has a click function and this click function opens a browser at our local URL or the URL wherever your server is hosted and calls the OAuth authorize endpoint that communicates with Passport.js like you implemented in the previous tutorial. This is then opening the browser window and then the OAuth flow happens. After that, our app gets notified, but where exactly? And that's what we need to implement next because the next thing is that we need to implement, I'm just gonna close this, an app URL listener. And this is where our app gets the token from this URL. First of all, you need to import or install this app package from Capacitor. And then we are gonna define a very simple function, a very simple component that in the use effect registers our listener. So we're just gonna say app dot add app listener on the app URL open event. And as soon as something like that happens, we're gonna get this whole URL string we previously defined on the server. I'm just here filtering out again if that app uh, if that URL actually starts with our schema. And if so, we're gonna extract the token from the URL. The URL is very, uh, very standard URL, so we can use the standard JavaScript libraries to interact with it and then we get the token parameter from the URL. After we got the token parameter from the URL, we then save it simply in our app and we close the browser and we tell our app or our app state, in this case, that the authentication happened. So this is that part. Also in the app shell, we're gonna include, or in the main file of your app, in the ION app, we're gonna include our app URL listener. And after that, we are already ready. To, we are basically ready to go. So now there's another question. We cannot really store cookies in our app, in our win uh, browser window in a capacitor app because they get regularly deleted by Apple or by iOS. So what we do instead is we save what we did in this, in our listener, we actually use implementation of, uh, or we use preferences, a preference library that saves the token in a 
secure place that is not going to be deleted by iOS. But we still need to make sure that is included in every request that we send to the payload server. And here it gets saved. And for this, we implement our own API with Axios. There are many different ways to do this. You could also just simply always send the authorization token, but this I found the most or the easiest. So here we define our own API. We set a base URL, we send it with credentials, and then in the authorize in the configuration header, we simply add JWT and the token we saved in the preferences, which we get here from the preferences. And after that, we can use that at any place in our app, for example, in our settings. So in our settings, in the use effect, we simply do a call to our server, api.get users uh, slash users slash me, and we get the user information you're seeing right now. We then save it into a state, and afterwards we display it, the picture and the email. Okay, that's it for this video. Very brief overview of how to actually implement implement Google authentication with a capacitor app. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please write them in the comments. Otherwise, see you the next time. Bye.